everyone, this is Eric from Dark Energy Audio, and I actually want to go over my eco-worthy off-grid uh, solar system. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually in my workshop, and uh, what I've done is basically set up an off-grid power supply here that has a battery backup, so that it's the equivalent of having a backup generator. Uh, so as you can see outside, I have 200 watt solar panels on the roof. Doesn't seem like much, but again, I'm gonna power in the whole house. It's there to keep my batteries charged and power basic stuff such as refrigerator during power outages. Uh, so it's not connected to my AC system. So the power from the 200 watt solar panels in parallel, which is up to about 20, 21 volts uh, open load, uh, goes to the eco, eco or the um, solar controller, which is basically a buck charger. And as you can see, we have the solar panel connected to the battery, which kind of shows that it's charging, currently at 13.7 volts. Uh, this nice little controller also has an output that can turn on and off, USB outputs. Um, that basically goes to a power inverter and a large 100 amp hour battery. Uh, I plan on adding a second battery, which is where this spot is here, uh, and I could even add more to that. Um, these batteries are optimized for uh, battery backup or storage. They're not optimized for um, peak current, which is what you would use in a car situation. So say this is similar size to what's in my truck. However, the, in my truck, it, I handle three, 400 amps easily uh, at the trade-off of uh, amp hour capacity, right? So this has higher amp hour capacity, but lower peak current. So it actually has more uh, area on, its, on the plates for collecting that current, um, which is ideal for battery backup. 1500 watt uh, inverter, 300 watts peak. Uh, as you can see, if I turn this on right now, you'll see the battery voltage dip a little bit. I have a voltage meter here, tell you what kind of output voltage I'm getting. So 124 volts open load. And I have a uh, power strip to power things. So when I have the second battery installed, um, I'll have enough capacity to run refrigerators. I have two refrigerators. I can run those and some basic small uh, things, battery chargers for your phones, things like that, uh, for at least a day and a half without any issues. Um, I could always top this off uh, by taking my truck and connect it to it to give it a jump if I need to. And that's kind of like having another backup generator. I like this approach better than uh, gas generators because they're not reliable. And uh, again, if you run out of gas, you don't have any power. So this is a kind of a good intermediate uh, solution. So now I'm gonna give you a demo of this in action. So I'm gonna take my uh, clamp on and meter here. Let's turn this on. Clamp it onto the uh, positive terminal. It doesn't really matter what I clamp it onto. Positive, negative, it's gonna give me the same current because it's a loop. And you see there's not much current going through there because the battery is basically topped off. Output voltage still 124. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Ryobi battery charger here for my drill and I'm going to plug it in. So now that's plugged in, battery charger's on, it's charging, voltage still 124 because obviously it's a light load for the, the inverter. If you see my battery voltage had dropped to 12.9 which means now I'm actually drawing power from the battery. Now what kind of current is that? Now we're at 2.4 amps. Even though it's sunny outside, it's later in the day, so I don't have direct line of sight on the panels. This is just indirect scattered light. For most of the morning and throughout the day, I would have much higher current. Uh, I can see as much as uh, 10 amps charging current. So after I showed you the uh, battery charger, I let that run for a while. You see it was still at 12.9 volts, so we're charging the battery currently. And as you can see, we have about 700 milliamps going into the battery from the charger. Right now my inverter is off. I'm gonna give you an example with a real load. So this is the shop vac. This easily can peak at 2000 watts, uh, much larger load. So I'm gonna show you exactly how much current you expect to draw from the battery with this kind of load. It's gonna get noisy for a second here. Present, I'm going to turn it off. Mm. 
So as you can see, my current was around 75 amps uh, minus, which means I was drawing that power from the battery. Um, it's quite a bit of current. I'm gonna turn this off. Now it's back to charging. Voltage is at 12.7 and it's going back up. Uh, so this gives you an idea of what kind of current you expect to draw from the battery if you wanna run a really large load. Again, if you're gonna run uh, your whole house on a system like this, you would need multiple batteries, not just one here. Uh, my intention is to have two, but you could always add six or eight or whatever. And uh, I know some people would have lithium ion batteries in this situation, but they actually are a waste of money in this kind of a scenario because the idea of lithium ion, lithium ion is to save weight. And in your house, you don't really care about the weight. You just care about your cost per amp hour or your, you're really optimizing for your capacity uh, and you want the least cost for that capacity. So I just did some math. Um, 75 amps at 12.8 volts is around 960 watts. Uh, with the efficiency of the power inverter, it's probably around 800 watts. I was going to the shop vac. Um, everything's back to normal and we're charging back up. And in an hour or so, you should see this back up to 13.6, 13.7 and go into idle mode. So one of the things I forgot to point out is I also have this um, battery charger, which can plug into the wall and connect right here to uh, charge this if for some reason the solar panels weren't working or if I wanted to charge the batteries uh, from regular power uh, for whatever reason. Um, again, if you didn't want to add solar panels and you wanted to just have a battery backup, you could just work with the trickle charger and that would be fine.